Hi, I'm Michael J. Collins, and in this video, I'm going to show you a few things on how to optimize Unreal 4 to run faster, not just in the editor, but also uh, on your map, your published game. Uh, I have UV4 for a few months now, and I've been kind of discouraged because it runs pretty fast when it, on the other settings, such as um, for the quick settings, and you can check out engine scalability settings. It runs good on low, medium, high. On epic it runs, but it kind of lags when I when I rotate my mouse and stuff. But now it doesn't. Uh, it runs much faster, um, much faster speed. I did a few things to uh, play around with that. And one of the things that I did is hopefully I think it made a difference. But before I go into that, uh, these are my specs for my computer. It is pretty fast, 12 gig of memory. Um, 60, 80, 1050, you know, my CPU you can see, my um, graphics card, it's not a bad computer at all. Um, I've been Googling a lot, some of the things I saw things people change was, um, if you go to your Manage 3D settings in your NVIDIA control panel, uh, what I did is I actually published a map from UE4 to my desktop in a folder called Newer, and here I have my actual, in my binaries, actual exe file to open. Instead of, I think what I, what actually had an effect is instead of using the exe file that's in the C drive for Unreal, the editor, I select the exe file for the actual published game. And here it is right here, it's on my desktop in the folder called Newer. And when I did that, I played around with a few settings, power management mode, for maximum powerful performance, um, texture filtering. I think I clicked that on accident, but I'm gonna leave it on that anyway. Um, texture filtering quality is pretty much the first thing I put on high performance. I just wanted to use my graphics card. Please, Unreal, use my graphics card. I want the highest performance. I want you to work. So, and texture filtering is on. And I believe I clicked that on accident. I've just been clicking on stuff just to see if something works. So. When I did all that, also in the engine, one of the other other things that I did is that I think I realized that by default that the the game that you play you're playing around with is at a higher resolution. Um, so pretty much my default when I try to play with my games is uh, 1280 by 720. But pretty much when I used to do in UDK uh, at the start of the game, I want my game to be on full screen and I want it to be at a resolution in which I can record videos at a, a, a good frame rate instead of at 1900 or something. So pretty much at the start of the game I usually do a console command. So when I go to blueprints, open level blueprint, I set up a console command event, um, event begin play and execute console command which is set a resolution of 1280 by 720 at full screen which is a little F there. So as soon as the game starts, um, it'll be at full screen, and it'll be at that resolution instead of at a higher resolution, which bogs down your computer because it's trying to read at a higher resolution. Instead, it's dealing with a lower resolution, but um, visually, your game will still look nice. Uh, if your environment looks awesome, it's at 1280 by 720, which isn't a bad thing. Um, this will be considered for testing, but it's better testing an actual game that you're playing instead of just in the editor just to visually see it. So, uh, let's see here. My game was running at a, a frame rate at 12 frames per second, but now it ended up at 20. I don't have a most powerful computer like everyone else where I can do 60, but 20, 22 is just fine for me, uh, just as long as I can move my mouse really fast so it doesn't feel like it's lagging at all. Um, uh, I believe I'm waiting for it to open. I don't know if I double clicked on it or not. I have two versions open. Okay. See, at the moment I'm able to rotate my mouse very fast. I have actually one light in here. Um, if you want to see the frame rate, if it'll let you, but if, since I'm recording the video, the frame rate is going to be a little bit lower. But I believe I press this and press that. Not stat, stat, and FPS. And I said 20 frames per second. 
which is a good thing for me. So now that I can go ahead and get started on adding props and stuff, because I was pretty much discouraged because things were running fast for me. Fast for me because if I'm developing the game, I want to really be able to move throughout my environment with good frame rate. So those are the two things that I can tell you. Just play around with your settings and your NVIDIA um, settings and the 3D settings. And also set up a 